Hey, good night guys. A good great night to all who are tuned into the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Yeah, damn. So, let me start by, I want I want an answer from the human trafficking politicians we have in this country and lawyers. Now, t the Haitians failed to appear in court today. As like I see everything. Hello, my brother. I'm here to tell you that the government released the Haitians and they make clear runs past so they can get out of the country so the matter will be dismissed. But I would like to know what happened to five persons they have under custody because they said they were the trafficking what the people at So, so, um, yeah, let me tell you, let me tell you, Now, as you, a lot of the overseas Guyanese, um, you know, have gone out there to look for a better life, would know that you're glad for somebody for taking and take care of you. What recently happened and what has been happening? Haitians have been coming to Guyana. Let me call Ganesh before he say he, um, he tired and he sleep away. Let me get straight into this thing right away with Ganesh. Ganesh has sleep early tonight. <laughs> You can sleep early tonight. You never want to get into this problem. So Ganesh, um, sleep early tonight. You sleep way. Right? So what's been happening is Haiti is having has been having from the beginning of time being one of the poorest countries in the world Haiti has been facing hardships and Haitians really and truly their target is Europe they try to head to Europe so what they do is come to Guyana via the airport and then they come like they stay in but they head out to Brazil and so and this was happening with the help of the last administration this helped them they, the last administration was fully well aware of what was going on and they fully well in the human trafficking thing. So they help them for pass, come in and pass through who government officials make their money and so on. Um, that they're going on. Now, the, this administration tried to play it because them, they're doing human trafficking, but this administration wanted to win the election. So somebody come up with the idea, like if the Haitians come in for vote and they try to create that kind of confusion. And not necessarily this administration, but people as, um, associated with them. You got PNC people that's acting on behalf of the PNC. And the PNC instruct them. You got PVP people acting on behalf of the PVP or think that they acted in the best interest of the PVP. And the PVP, nobody in the PVP didn't instruct them. They're just crazy supporters. Right? So, under the previous administration, when the PNC was in government, they 
turn a blind eye to the Haitians. The Haitians come in, hundreds of them come in, they ain't care, they come in, they go in, and we're going in. And the Haitians don't stay here. They never came to vote. That was a total fabrication and total untruth. But some of them stay, get jobs, and so people hiring Haitians. They got a couple of Haitians. And work in here. So guy is losing jobs. So they're in a bad state. So they glad for their work. So the previous administration, which is now the um, opposition, they... Let me call you back again. Them play them in noon. Hello, good night. Good night, Craig. Yeah, brother. Your brother from a different mother. Hmm. A wire. Where you coming at? A wire. I got a fed up. It's a six inch long. Big man, you make I got black here. Sorry, I got black here, but I don't really got time for them shipping as if you know what time for coming with the funny jokes with me. My brother from another mother I'll never make around with. Sometimes I just don't have any mood for shit. Hello? Hello, good night. She got it, she got it, bed early. You see, he's here calling, right? You see, number there. Ganesh, my Paul. My Paul. And that's it, fool. You got no explanation. Right? So. So, Chief Justice asked state to show compliance with trafficking and personal laws for Haitians. So somebody sent me a, a Demerara Waves article and it is from the 18th. Today is the 18th? From today? Now what happens? The lawyer for the Haitians um, the Haitians did not appear in court. The lawyer for the Haitians did not file any affidavit in response to the state, nothing. So it seems that the lawyer just go forget them out for they get away. You got liars all in this trafficking thing. It's liars and politicians that in this trafficking thing. Right? And they would do anything or say anything to get their way or get what they want. The Haitians, we believe the Haitians that they'd open their way to Brazil. Brasilia. The Blasalero. <laughs> you hear what I tell you? They went in two buses. 94 buses. 94 is the route to let him. Two buses. You understand? We we saying? Ganesh was bad talking you and Sherrod. Lampy Pampy program? <laughs> People just listen to that? People still listening to Lampy Pampy? So tonight will be short and sweet. Maybe never do long, long story. I'm tired. I want to clear up this thing. Ganesh now and see phone. Right? And I'm I'm playing with some I'm playing with some new ideas how I can do things with the drone and so on for you guys, right? So Ganesh, you're there online, but you're answering your phone. Somebody, someone a Ganesh friend see and realizing hello, good night. Hi, good night. You get black just for the fun of it. He in here I tell people don't call me and and and, and got me hard hard in the background. 
Me talking to nobody, no, I don't know. The idea you're watching, I said these numbers ain't going up. Critic Ganesh was just on Sher Duncan live program. He said he cannot be asleep as yes, he frightened the talk with you now that the Haitians have disappeared. Okay. So lawyers involved in this thing. If you're a lawyer and you asking to get bail for your client. You got to, you know, you got to, they didn't hold the, the client's passport. Well, I don't think it's not much of a problem with them because they had the right to be in the country. They got up to six months. So you can't hold it. It's not like a criminal act that people them commit. That's the next thing, right? Many surprise and gift way to you. Let me black this one. Black he just for the fun of it. He got some page and he's surprise and gift. Wait a bit. So yeah, I'm telling y'all what happened in the past. I want to know. It seems that the judicial system has so much of loopholes that it can't really, it doesn't make a good criminal justice system. Remember, it's the enforcement. The laws are created by the politicians in terms of in the constitution. The constitution guides what is the decisions and so on made by the judiciary and the, and the other laws come into play. So, the, the police enforcing. But, what kind of society you got? A liar come and say, yes, these people, first thing is the play race, the race car. How the Haitians black? Right? They try to play a race car that might be because the Haitians black. Well, at least, it, you know, black lives matter. Anybody know the PNC no more than everybody about black lives matter. They always end up. They paint up front of coffee. They paint New Amsterdam. Well, where the people them there for stand up for the right? What happened now? This has nothing to do and it never had anything to do with race. It has to do with human trafficking and, and, and the rights of people. This is a basic thing. What's the right of an immigrant in the country? How does a country play? What role does a country play? With immigrants, how they facilitate them? Should we set up um, a, a, a refugee camp here? Because in, in developed countries in in um, Europe, and so it's refugee camp is keep here, you know. So what's up, me? What do you think? Six two two seven seven four zero. So the Haitians disappear. When I go and I tell you, people are jumping a bus, everybody's speeding, going. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> You'd believe the bus is a plane. Little more, the bus is a take off. But what is sad is how the politicians, the opposition politicians, played race game with this, knowing that these people are being trafficked. The Haitians don't know what's going on. You know, these people talking French. These people don't know about Guyanese politics and what's going on. The Haitians did not appear in court today. And their lawyer, the pet lawyer, has not filed any response for them. You understand? The pet lawyer did not file any affidavit in response. He just left the thing. Them just been interested in getting the Haitians out for the grand beat out. When you find out, is the same hour trafficking them. Go and pay the liar for the who pay the liar. Which Haitian know the pet liar? Eh? My what? Tonight we can do 15 minutes. We done 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Call it tonight. The Haitians disappear. Yes, sir. Nowhere to be found. Garnishing answering the phone. Let me make one more call to you. And the phone is ringing, right? Garnish my Paul.
So, no answer from Ganesh. Ganesh got into hiding. <laughs> no, it is not only. Hi, good night, Mr. Kutik. These Haitian people, they need help. I know that. Doesn't matter what, where they come from, or if they come from Haiti or whatever country, but they are from a strange country. You said yourself, a poor country, and they need help. And someone needs to guide them. You don't need to take money from them, but to guide them to the right path. I think they're welcoming Diana, but still. Someone needs to guide them and show them the way out. I mean, to a better living. Hello, good night. Good night. He's on, he was, I don't know if he's still on. Danny, he was on a live program on Facebook. Okay, okay. With, um, Lampy Pampy, ma, Lampy Pampy, one of the Lampy yeah. Pampy, yeah. <laughs> Safe, okay, I don't know if he asked, but he was on a live program. Cool, uh -huh. Hello, good night. Hey, hi, good night. Good night. Talk to me. Well, he got the Haitians hiding and he hiding too. <laughs> it look like he gone with the Haitians. Yeah, but here I tired, man. I glad he thing and so I tired because I can't make it. I got I got call it tonight. I just been fighting up all day with my drone and I, we got a drone in. So I'm trying to figure out how do we do drone shots live to give you guys live uh, footage. You know? That's right. That's right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 setting up some things. We working on some things. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna lay like like Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is well. Now we're gonna start. Beautiful. Michael, that we um is gonna start marketing his business because you can't make the business the most known business in the country and then nobody know how to find it. You understand? So though we working out, we got a beautiful sign out there that was done by Jai Signs for us, and real interesting. I'm doing an ad for them too. So people who are looking for them signs, who are looking for 3D signs and all of them. Them banners do a lot of signage and um, really they came and we discussed a concept. I didn't go and see a sign and say, what a sign like, no. So today I come in, I thinking like, you know them sign was there in the front of business, a little sign with a, with a name and so on and it. And when I come, me a sign, that's not a sign brother, that's a billboard. Yes, sir. The blood clot thing big. When I come, I see a big truck there, okay, with a big, I say, what the blood clot is this? Where this thing come from? Yes, sir. So I was... I was highly excited about it, so yeah. you know I, I I find it very interesting, and um, we gotta do something for them, right? Because yeah. a lot of people we gotta boost up how we're gonna do our business. I'm gonna talk about it in the morning. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna show you all the sign, and I'm gonna talk about it because it's very important that Guyanese up the game. And when I do anything, I like Trump. Everything I do is big. We do well. Me hand all big, right? Me play me hand big, like. Trump, me ha big. Trump got too small, ha, huh, right? But, you know, everything is big. You know, it's big, right? So large. So, um, if you look at this place, it's the biggest uh, service center in the country. If you look at the sign, it's the biggest sign any service center got in the country. You know what I'm saying? We get the most pressure washers and everything big. It's, everything is large around here. So, um, I'm thinking... Through this method, because a lot of this can be secret, how you get a thing, how this and so. So I'm looking seriously at not only the promotion of Michael's business, but the promotion of how people could better do business. Oh God, I got caught here. Garnish my police on the line. Garnish my police on the line later. Good night, MP, my Paul. I. Okay, okay. Um, well, we, we said we'd have to discuss the Haitians. As I told you yesterday, they, um, they were leaving. And it, their non-appearance in court today, their lawyer's inability to um, make any form of representation to them or reply to the state um, is the next glaring sign. I want to know if liars are in human trafficking because if you've got a, a case, you're fighting and doing what you got to do. 
what would you say now, Ghanesh, in light of the fact uh, it seems, still seems, that the Haitians have skipped this country? Uh, MP My Paul. First, I would say that human trafficking is when force or fraud or coercion is used to obtain some type of labor or commercial sex act or, uh, or something that is outside of what persons would want to associate with. So I don't believe... One of them, more. one of them, uh, uh, Mr. Maipal, one of them, human trafficking heavily also heavily involves the movement of immigrants and how they move. Like for instance, those people did not have a specific plan so they are being taken by people. Yes. And the persons, the persons who facilitate in that are trafficking people. No, but we don't know if they are doing it against the people's will. And trafficking has to do with operating against the will of the people. And the people were held in captivity by the state and none of them spoke out and said that so, they were trafficked. So you're none coming spoke out and said that they are being facilitated against their will. So Mane Ganesh, you're coming into a country. You're coming into a country. Um going against that country's laws, that going against the laws are being facilitated by people in that country. There's a quite of a conspiracy here and that is not considered to be trafficking. That is what Anil Nandalal will have to prove in court. Anil Nandalal tried to get the judge to throw the matter out because he's claiming that there is no client for the um, the other lawyer. So and the, and the judge was quite clear that I am not going to throw this matter out. It's an important matter and it re it requires the attention. Why do you think Anil Why do you think the Asians did not appear in court today? I didn't get you. Why do you think the Haitians did not appear in court today? I don't know why they did not appear. I am not their lawyer. Their lawyer has to know why they didn't appear. But like you said yesterday, and I guess that will give justification to me, that they were heading in a different direction. The, the issue is... They were being trafficked to Brazil. Was it necessary given that they have a legal representation? And given that the matter is not a criminal matter or it is not a matter or the matter before the court has nothing to do with them physically appearing, the representative is there. The lawyer that is representing them is there. And if the court system facilitates that, then so be it. Many times there are many people who would uh, commit offenses and or are summoned to the court and their lawyers appear for them. They don't have to physically appear. Their lawyers appear for them. So technically the Haitians were at court. So, so Mr. My Paul, you are suggesting, like when people not go court, them got sick, them liars, so they're sick, they can't make it today. But no process can go on without the persons who, the defendants or the plaintiffs. But the matter is going on. The matter is going on. The court is going on. The matter concerning the Haitians is going on. Can you so tell me what happened in the court today? Yes, I didn't get you. Bro. Can you tell me what happened in the court today? You had any preview as to what transpired today? Well, all I know is that because the Haitians, in, by virtue of them, their own presence, did not show up in court, the attorney general was asking for the matter to be dismissed. And it has to do with the type of matter that is before the, law, the magistrate. And the magistrate, based on what I've read, is saying that she's not going to dismiss it because it's a matter of urgent importance. It is a matter that requires the attention that it is getting here in the court. And she is going to allow it and basically set some timelines for Adel and allow to prove certain things in court. And so the matter is engaging the court. So we can't say it is not engaging the court. It is engaging the court. No, no, no. It is engaging the court. What does not engage the court is the defendants. <laughs> but their lawyer is there. 
My Paul, MP My Paul, he did not make any representation for them. There was no representation today for the Haitians. Certain things were supposed to be filed, affidavits in reply to what the Attorney General would have put forward for the case to go forward. Nothing was done. What I am aware of is that an attempt by the Attorney General was made for the court to discontinue the hearing. Uh, and uh, a hearing of the deportation of the 26 Haitians. And the Attorney General told the court that the 26 Haitians were released from custody and are no longer in Guyana. That's what the AG said. So the AG appeared in court himself today, Ganesh? Because that's what I read. Ganesh, do you know, do you know that is very much need for concern with the opposition? Do you know the Attorney General, Anil Nandalal, is the same individual who faced a number of court matters that turned the PNC upside down? The man is that no easy man? Let me finish with the Asians. He contended that with that uh, with them no longer being in the jurisdiction that he believes that the attorney representing their interests may now be without clients and the matter should not continue that's what the ag said to the court but the chief justice roxette george dismissed the contention of the ag and indicating that the matter now holds some level of clarification on an academic level now holds needs Diana becoming a place with many opportunities and increased visitors. So the Chief Justice basically said that there is a clear need for clarification, so the matter must continue. So the lawyer for the Haitians will continue to show up, and the lawyer for the state will continue to show up also, and the matter will proceed, even if it's being held in absence of the Haitians, because- It can't be, Ganesh. It can't be. What, what the Chief Justice will not do or no judge or magistrate would do in the event that a, a, a plaintiff or a defendant doesn't appear in court one time. They wouldn't just struck out the case because it could be a number of different reasons. You understand? That's but you go saying. through a and lengthy the process. The justice has to do with what the magistrate did. The magistrate issued deportation order and that is what the, ma the, the, the matter that is before the chief justice has to do with. It's more of an academic nature. Whether you can subject people to deportation, given that there's an agreement, carry come and the likes and you know, six months, this six months, that. So it is a legal matter that is going on and it has more academic nature now than ever. And it is continuing. The Haitians will, be continue to, will continue to enjoy the representation of Counsel Darren Wade, who is a fantastic lawyer and is representing people. And their yes, yes, I, I'm telling you, I'll, I'll be going down to him soon because Scarlett needs representation. Um, she's having Scarlett. some... You don't know who Scarlett? <laughs> you changed the dog name? Yes. Is, we didn't know it was a um we didn't know um that it was a girl we all uh you know the wild thought it was a boy so in light of that um we had to change the name and some legal ramifications so came up yes yeah, so it's scarlet so scarlet needs representation i will be getting on to him because um you know he's becoming well, better known as fee, the pet lawyer and they will represent even a rock if you pay your right fee. <laughs> yes, yes, I know PSC. PSC lawyers have been known to represent rocks. They even know to represent half of people. You understand? Lions don't refuse work, you know, and the law will tell you that he could never refuse a work. Yeah, but I never lose a case to the man. The hey, the man bad. Can you say, um, MP, part, my part Paul? Of bettering, part of bettering your profession and bettering yourself, especially in the field of law, is to take all the cases that are coming to your end and build your no, but, repetition from the end. No, but building a repetition takes winning cases. You can't just be taking cases and losing. That's, that turned into a sad situation. That's embarrassing. But the last you attorney general cases and you lose cases. had a... Has lost a number of cases too. Huh? Nandalal lost a third term case with Jack Dio. Nandalal lost on eight wall run case that was there the other day. And Nandalal is going to lose two other cases that are coming up soon. That is the election petitions? No, not the election.
elections petition, you're going to hear about it soon. Okay. Looking forward to them. You got to leak the thing to me, my homie, use friend. You got to leak your... You, you know, you, you leak the thing to me. Let me bust you up. <laughs> I got to leak it to you. <laughs> you got to come out in this old time. All right, buddy. So... Anyway, I had a, I had a, a heavy night. I was on a, another program before. I hear you calling my name. They tell me you're calling my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those people on your on your chat that are putting out a set of derogatory statements, it doesn't move a hair on my skin, nor does it even tamper with you, because at the end of the day, you are my friend and I'm your friend. And you will not see me think. <laughs> don't believe I'm going down with you, Ganesh. Ganesh, here, me don't have a question this. Me like James, man. You remember when James, man, throw them people under the bus? Nah, me. Me ain't going down with no question this. Me, are you a friend? Me, are you a friend? But when you're going down, I tell you, throw you under the bus. I was torn like Judas, and the three times you asked if I know the Bible, I never seen the Bible in my life before. <laughs> hey, Ganesh, check your catch your rest. Roger, are you going in early too? Oh, Jesus, I can't make it no more. And I ain't get to think straight, like my mind, you know. Given for 200 acres, already lease out. Yes, was Ganesh involved? Bossy up. So, guys, I gotta, um, yeah, the, the puppy needs a lawyer. You know, she got fur that, you know, we gotta, her name's gotta be copyrighted. Um, we gotta figure out how we can, we can get a board certificate to I want. The, the dog needs to travel. Sean is going to the States in the new year. So he wants to go with her, right? So um, we got to find out if we got to take a liar to get all proper... Yo, Chris, yeah, brother, talk to me. Listen to me. I, I, I didn't call you for a long time. I guess you see my, my name and you know who, who it is. Let me tell you something. I, I really appreciate what you are entertaining Ganesh. But Ganesh is insulting his own people there, man. It's not right. But it, 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 it's a part of your job. To, to, to talk to him and, and, and feel him and know what's going on. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but, but, to show the ignorance of these people who are trying to, to, to be a devil advocate. Devil and devil advocate is two different things. <laughs> <laughs> Don't confuse devil and devil advocate. That two different things. That the devil. That was the voice of the devil you hear there. But this this guy is is a devil advocate in a sense. No, he not a devil advocate. He is the devil. You're mixing up this thing. He's a devil. Daddy devil. If you never hear a dry lie with a smile, you understand? You listen to him. I could imagine. I could imagine, my brother. Normally, people just expect you to talk a lie and keep your face serious and you understand? You must smile. The man happy about it. I'm, I'm, I'm cracking up and laughing. I'm listening to this guy. All these things that he's, fa he's fabricating and he's saying. <laughs> the man is the first man that gets a delusion without any kind of medication. The man don't drink. Well, he smoke. But he don't drink or use any meds. And so the man can see things right in front of you. Yes, and the man just conjure up some delusions. I mean, it'll be a kind of pardon. Then you go into people's sexuality later. Later, buddy. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. I can't. Like, I ain't, I ain't clear tonight, man. Let me just run the WhatsApp messages and then. Good night, critic. About the cash grant, I'm aware Region 4 is presently in the process collecting. Can you please find out when you reach the diamond area? When you reach, you can see. Hey, critic. Good night. I did not receive my $25,000 as yet live. Yeah? You get back your money, the million dollars from the Ponzi scheme? Hello, bro. Rum Jatan. No answer to man. Boy, you have this, you know, like fish swimming backwards.
Good night, congrats, Michael Pitstop Services. He has a beautiful billboard. The person who made it did an excellent job. Yeah. Not your young girl, my daddy can't make this one. Critic, I don't care if you and this guy is friend, but Jesus Christ, I don't think I can handle him. If I wasn't such an old man, I'd come together. And, <laughs> good Lord, this guy's amazingly irritating. <laughs> Critic, your hairline from my ball, your hairline, he beat lion the lion. <laughs> The man says amazingly well. Amazingly irritating. <laughs> imagine, imagine Ganesh can people invent this sentence. Amazingly irritating. <laughs> Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Just now, man. I said, "Oh, I get the scratching." You see, well, this is amazingly scratching balls I have. <laughs> my Godish, Godish trigger up. People still start inventing words. Them just. Hey, people even know what I said. They just piece the words together. The man said, God, this is amazing. <laughs> 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 oh, give me two words. People like, it's like word, word, you know? The, the thing, the scrubbles, scrubbles and scrubbles. Give me two words and then take some, put some words together for this guy, Ganesh. You know what I'm saying? You say, oh, God, Ganesh? What you say? I'll put two words together and just describe me. Hey, my, I'll take you a good night.